My lead night is about how can we turn problems into sustainable movements. Now, Jahani mentioned earlier um, that she's the current president of Idea Platform. Oh, it went like very quickly. Okay, let's okay, let's just restart. Okay, let's do that. Um, okay, again, I'll I'll make it like a. Am I ready? Get it? Okay, can you? Okay. Boom. Okay, now we're ready. So, Jahani um, mentioned earlier that she's the current president of Idea Platform. Well, I'm the founder of Idea Platform. So today I'm going to take you back to three years ago when Idea Platform was just, just, a, just a bunch of random dudes trying to solve a problem that we were passionate about. Now, um, when we started with the project, uh, many people thought in our country that it just was crazy to try, to try to make a platform for students to stay in Puerto Rico and try to save a country that is passing through the worst financial crisis ever. Um, but that wasn't enough to stop our movement. Um, today we're the, one of the biggest movements in the country. We have our own makerspace. Um, we are winning international startup competitions and we even got Oculus Rift as our, as, as our sponsors. Um, so I know that many of you, as you mentioned, are really passionate about something back at your universities. So, uh, but you will soon realize that it's really hard to create a sustainable movement. So, um, I like to, to describe it as creating a startup, but harder, because you get the same uncertainty, but on top of that, you need to deal with um, having hard resets every year, where everybody, you get new leadership, new members, new structures, new everything, and your employees, your members, are working like part, part, part time with you. So, my conversation with you today is focused on how can you, as the leader of your organization, use like um, some strategies to engage your, lead, your members to the next level. Now, um, the first thing that you want to do is to understand and grace as a leader that there's no real, re real reason why they, they should be there with you. Um, there's no logical reason. They have classes, you're not paying them usually. So um, the first thing you want to do is create your, your own value creation field. Many people describe it as a distortion field. I like to create. I like to describe it as a value creation field. Give value to each one of your members, and they will be with you forever. So the second thing you want to do is just stop creating one-dimensional um, roles and teams. Focus rather. The best teams in the world are focused on problems, not topics. So um, in in our organization, we call those teams tribes and. Let, let me show you one of the examples. One of them is empowered, and they believe that everybody is a maker inside. So not only they teach digital fabrication to everybody, they are evangelists of this movement. So they are taking their project to the next level. So engage your members um, to create their own startups within your organization. And the third thing, just focus on the journey of each one of your members. Many organizations focus on, oh, I need to get funding or that other stuff. That is not fundamental. Focus on the journey of each one of your members because there's just nothing more powerful than a team that is really, really focused on, ch on changing the world and that they are committed to one thing only. So focus on the success of each one of your members. So just to summarize, the first thing you want to do, where's my slide? There you go. Create your own value creation field or distortion field. Create teams that are focused on problems, not topics. And focus on the journey of each one of your members. If, if you think about it, this is all about engaging your members to the next level. So my question for you is, how might you empower your team members to go from problems to sustainable solutions? Thank you. Woo!